Hello, internet friends. No, that's, that's not my opening. Uh, I get that from uh, this um, a website uh, that I, I subscribe to. Um, I'm really graceful. She does, she does really great uh, research and stuff like that using an international scale she deals with. So, so uh, sites do really good uh, research, like uh, Corbett Report. There's a bunch of people that do really, really good re research. Um, uh, plus, plus there's a lot of postings. Like I, I really like uh, um, a new black knowledge. I subscribe to over over Google Plus and whatever have you. But I, I get off topic here. Um, the reason I bring that up is because um, what I don't do a lot. Well, I do research, but I don't bring it to you like that and like that. There's so many other places you can do that. This is more for entertainment purposes only, and for you to fill in the gaps and for you to just get a start. It's like a prime and a pump to to, to do stuff. But I come across stuff every once in a while. And I just, I just, and it gets me to thinking and, and stuff like that. Like, um, I came across a, an article in um, that the bank, the, the the banks, the banks in the United States banks, the central banks, they won't, they, they won't lend money to Uruguay because Uruguay has a thing of, you know, because marijuana is legal there, which is kind of strange. Now, remember the president that put that in place, uh, um, the mojito was uh, Jose, I call President Jose. You know, he's supposed to, he was the poorest president when he reigned. I think he. He left office in 2015. Anyway, he was the poorest president, uh, and, and, and you know, in, in the world. You know, he lived he lived in a, a little a little humble abode. You know, he wouldn't use the, the palace. He used the way it once for for purposes, whatever it is. So he was a really great guy. He was he was, he was a gorilla. You know, he he spent years in in, in, in uh, you know in confinement. Uh, he was a bottom of a stable. Anyway, he was a great president. Anyway, but when he was president, he made marijuana legal because his rationale was basically that because that was that was the, the drug trade and that was causing all kinds of crime and it was a jump off point for other places in South America, you were raised in South American country. Okay. But they, they just, under, just like the, 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 we used the United States banks, they won't let them whatever they won't do because um, something about the Patriot Act. The Patriot prevents them from lending. Oh, come on now. Let's 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 do. It. And so it gets me to thinking. You know, um, why this is really strange because it's like a financial war. It's like you know, uh, I don't know what uh, they're going after Uruguay. That's all I'm trying to say. It's like they can go after Venezuela. Venezuela just got Coltan. Oof, they're in problems. Um, just found Coltan, so that's that's a big problem for them. Um, and so they do all these underhanded things, but then I, I started to think, I said, you know, it seems to me America, that's what they do. They invade, they do the subterfuge, they, and it's really they do the bidding of corporations, start with, you know, famous case, United Fruit Company and all the rest of that stuff, and then when they can't get their way, they send military in, the United States military in. So the United States, but interesting enough, they can, the United States can do these invasions, these, um, yeah, these uh, actions, these of, of black ops, whatever, these kind of things, but they, they can't do war very well. Think about it, the United States has not won a war. The only war the United States has ever won is the War of 1812 against the, against the British. Don't, don't get me wrong, you say, oh, what about the Revolutionary War? Revolutionary War, that was England against England. The United States was, you know, it was, wasn't, the United States wasn't formed then, so, te okay, technically. Whatever, um, but other than that, I mean, you know, they, they, they have the, Mex the, the Mexican War, you know, the Spanish-American War. I'm sorry, um, they have the, uh, you know, well, Civil War is a Civil War, uh, uh, but you know, um, that whole thing with Teddy Roosevelt, the Rough Riders, and whatever. But that's a whole. I won't get into the whole black thing with that. The Indian Wars, well, that's against the ex again extermination of the Indian. They use they use the Buffalo soldiers for that too. Wow. And black people, come on, we gotta get it together. <clears throat> anyway, uh, all kinds of things. Let's let's think about. It. You said, well, what about World War War One? We wasn't really in it at the very last minute. World War Two, United States in World War Two, Russia won World War Two. Come on now, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the United States dropped the bomb in Hershey, but the war was over by then. They were just, you know, saying, oh, we're gonna be the new power kind of thing. So they didn't really win World War Two. Uh, what, what other wars do we have here? You know, the, the Korean conflict, Korean conflict. But that again, that's an invasion. You know, um, I won't even get into the whole thing with, with Cuba and all the rest of that stuff. Uh, what, what other wars do we have? Vietnam. You know, the, the, they called the American Vietnamese called the American War. But that was North and South Vietnam. We just came. You know, and we didn't win that. It wasn't even a stalemate. We just left. Ran out the way because he's going to lose. So the United States has not won a war. 
Iraq, Iran, those are not wars again. Those are incursions. Those are you know, actions to, to do the being of, 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 of corporations, bankers, or whatever have you. Don't get me started with the oils and all the rest of that stuff. Because, come on now. You, you, you have to know by now, with all the information that's out here, and you know, before they shut down the internet or where YouTube or whatever have you, but do your research, get some stuff, you know, archive some stuff like that, because you know what I'm talking about. The whole oil thing, you know, with, with the whole thing with the, with the BP, stand, whatever, Standard Oil, whatever, all these people in cahoots, you know, the whole thing with the Rockefeller, with the, with, with the Rothschilds made the world, <sighs> Middle East thing. Come on now. Come on now. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. People being distracted, Donald Trump, please, this is, this is distractions. We have got to get serious, you know? We have got to get, okay, let me stop this rant, because it's, it's not gonna go any place, you know what I mean? But please, um, start, even as, let me put this, let's be proportional about this. You know, I, let me, 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 I'm entertainment, I'm somewhere over there, right? Then you have some other really entertaining things, you know, you want to go to your, whatever your breakfast club is or, or actually I, I, I like Corey Holcomb's, you know, with 5150, I like him a lot, sincerely, I was sincerely velvet, I really like her, so I get to, but then you got to get to your, your Yvette Cornell's, you know, you got to get to your nearly full of juniors, you, you proportion yourself, you see, and you want to, because you want to do a little, you know, distraction things, you can do that, but you have to have something where you really, you know, Please, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you kindly, me, being T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.